I'm Jody Case and I'm here with my colleague Amy Wagner and we have provided this segment of all things Common Core to introduce you to the Common Core standards in support of all you school leaders out there. We want to recognize first of all that um, we know you have best intentions in bringing um, the most current information to your staff and as a staff coming together to address Common Core standards and this segment is really just going to front load you with specific information regarding those Common Core standards. And we all know that the world continues to change. In order to be prepared for that world, our students are going to need the skills and knowledge <clears throat> to address the things that come their way in the workforce and in their communities. And so to ensure all of that, we ha our state has adopted the Common Core state standards, and we'll be talking to you about what that looks like in the areas of English language arts as well as mathematics. So what we want you to start thinking about is when do we need to start looking at these Common Core state standards? I know I told you, Jody, the other day I had a call from a principal who said, um, when do you think I should start on these? And um, what do you think I said? The answer well, was? Well, yesterday, probably. <laughs> yeah. That was what we've been hearing anyways. Yeah. There's so much that's already been done, and you can see um, from the timeline that um, there are some things that have already happened last year and things that are happening this year. Um, but if you were a district, what would be some things that might be a good idea to begin thinking about as you start bringing this information to your staff? Sure. Well, <clears throat> I think one of the things is just an awareness. Um, we um, just need to put an awareness out there of what the Common Core Standards are and helping the, the teachers unpack the, them, mm -hmm. make that transition a little bit more smoothly um, made so that it's not all at one point in, um, in time. Um, also, next year we'll start to see some Common Core um, questions yeah. on, on our assessments. assessments and so um, on those assessments they're not going to count against us so that's always good mm -hmm. but we will be provided with some data and that data is going to help us make some decisions about where the gaps are in our curriculum or perhaps maybe some staff development that we need to have for um, our teachers and so those are both things that um, will be real important to do over the next several years. So we can almost use those assessments kind of to help guide us and, mm -hmm. and kind of inform us of what might be our needs to kind of do a needs assessment right. to create something for our districts for the future. Right. We're really ready to get started and the next slide that we're showing you is, is just that. We have someone that's just building a, a kindle, a fire that is um, um, ready to move forward and really get started in the Common Core. And so what we have done here at ESDAC is we have provided for all of our school leaders an opportunity to come together on July 26th, gearing up for Common Core. And we're going to come together and share um, information, resources, and build a common understanding of the language mm -hmm. for Common Core. Mm -hmm. So we're going to be offering that. We're also put together um, question and answers as needed for our um, school leaders. Sure. Um, I, we just want them to know, we want all of them to know that ESDAC is here and we want to support you in this um, journey, if you will. So we want to provide that for you. Um, this video, of course, is something that we wanted to use to provide Board of Education members and school leaders so that this is a way for you to um, begin networking and sharing this information and having those purposeful and intentional conversations about Common Core. We also have a resource website for you, All Things Common Core, that will be helpful with um, blogs and articles and information that will be resourceful mm -hmm. to them. So we invite all of you that are Facebook fans out there to join us on Facebook and we will bring, bring you you know, new information mm -hmm. as it, as it mm -hmm. rolls out. And then um, finally, the Common Core coaching opportunities for building administrators. We want to acknowledge the fact that um, you're not alone in this. Administrators need to have that coaching opportunity and the support of each other mm -hmm. as well as um, experts maybe that have been able to have some training. So we want to provide that for you as an opportunity. And Jody, I would just say that, you know, there's several opportunities there that if you are not at a superintendent's meeting, the All Things Common Core website and our Facebook page, All Things Common Core, are great places to post questions that we can um, interact with. Um, maybe if there's ideas of things that, that um, superintendents or school leaders are wanting, um, those are other opportunities 
they don't have to wait for us to ask them. They can go ahead and ask us those questions. Right. We want to use that as a, as a communication tool. Absolutely. So that's that. And speaking of communication, um, we really want to make sure that we provide for you the resources that you might need to communicate with all the stakeholders in your community. Mm -hmm. When I think of all the families that are impacted and that will be impacted mm -hmm. by Common Core, it's not just our parents. It's our stakeholders in our community, our taxpayers, grandparents, mm -hmm. businesses, um, and, and of course our Board of Education. But when we want to um, provide you with the opportunity to build that communication um, around the Common Core, and with that we have found some great communication tools from the PTA um, national site, and it gives us an opportunity to look at parent success guides that are written in both English and in Spanish. So if I'm a district and I want to start communicating effectively and mm -hmm. bringing to the surface Common Core and how that's going to affect children in our district and informing parents about the kinds of questions that they might want to ask um, teachers mm -hmm. and also sharing information about what specifically in math my student might be learning in Common Core that is by grade level this is a great resource that mm -hmm. they can just download from kindergarten all through 12th grade and it really is broke out into key items for English and in math. And it's also a provide, it's an opportunity for us to share with parents different activities mm -hmm. that they can do with their kids at home that they're going to be experiencing in the classroom. Right. And um, the parent-teacher um, conversations that can come from this, they kind of help facilitate a little bit of that. Mm -hmm. So um, if a parent's not sure what kinds of questions to ask or if the teacher's not quite sure how to answer questions for parents. Some of those things are there. Sure. And then there's one great page um, that is more college and career ready. So um, it, it gives you a lot of information mm -hmm. and it's all you have to do is click click a button and download them mm -hmm. and they're ready to go. I can see that being a great tool maybe in the fall conferences just to have some conversations with between teachers and um, parents about wouldn't that be a great the, idea? What does this year look like for my child? I think that would be a great tool to, I do too. to use. I do too, and they're ready to go. They're mm -hmm. real. They're real pretty. They're user friendly, mm -hmm. and and they're um, quick reads. Absolutely. Well, finally, we want to provide you with the last bit of information that's on this segment, and it includes our teacher support. Amy, why don't you go ahead and share with them what we plan to do at ESDAC this well, next year? Well, um, I'm excited to do this. Anytime we get to work with all the teachers, there are always so many great ideas. Um, what we are hoping to do is to unpack those um, standards a little bit by grade level mm -hmm. and we will be starting um, with our oldest grade levels um, so we'll be starting with the... And there's a reason for that right. really. And um, it, it makes more sense to, to in order to build that strong foundation to work backwards to say what is it that we want those college and career ready um, students to look like mm -hmm. and then let's build backwards until we kind of have an idea of what that foundation needs yeah. to look like and so I'm excited to take that journey with the teachers I think that we have great things to share but I'm also excited about the things we'll learn yeah I'm sure you under it'll be a great day to learn yeah you can always call ESDAC at 620-663-9566 or go to our website um, at well, let's just tell them all things Common, all things Core, Common Core because all things Common Core will have Everything all the documents that we create will be on there accessible for them. Very good. Thanks for joining us today on this segment for our school leaders. And um, if you have any questions, just please give us a call and we will um, do everything we can to support you.